So I know it's been about uh, four months since the setback. You haven't had to deal with loss very much uh, in recent years. So I guess uh, what was the process in getting past that, or is it still burn at you a little bit? I didn't lose. <laughs> um, I watched the fight a few times, and you know, based off of judging criteria, I won the fight. Damage, octagon control, aggression, I won. But uh, you know, judges seen it different. That's it. I don't take anything from the fight. I learned a lot from that fight. I really went. I really took it to see where my grappling was at. You know, against one of the best in the world, and I got to see where it's at. So, yeah, that's it. Only up from here. Very nice. Well, you get the call regardless of the result either way. International Fight Week, pay-per-view main card. I mean, does that show something about the way the company feels about you and the confidence they have in you to put you in a position like that? I've been in this position a couple of times now, so it feels good. You know, the, the company's getting behind me, and, you know, I'm going to keep doing my job. Right. The matchup itself is supposed to happen before, one that excites you stylistically? Yeah, you know, um, Dan's a vet. Um, I've watched him for a long time. You know, it's going to be an honor to fight him, and... Yeah, the style, the style uh, it excites me, you know. Uh, I expect him to stand up and bang, but, you know, in case it does get to some grappling exchanges, like, I'm, I'm going to be ready there. And, uh, you know, we're going to put on some fireworks. It was 4th of July yesterday, so now we're going to put some fireworks on Saturday. Nice. Lastly, for me, on paper it looks like an all-action fight, but it's a meaningful fight, too. I mean, you guys are both in the rankings right next to each other, so you thinking about where this puts you, you know, I know you just had the, the – the uh, controversial decision the last time out, but are you thinking about, hey, maybe I go top five after this, something along that? I'm definitely looking towards the top five after this one. Um, I think they just put somebody else in, in number 10, so I'm like, whatever, he can have it. I win this fight, I'm looking at top five. Whoever wants to let me in, let me in. June, uh, right here. When the fight with Dan fell apart last time, you had said you weren't super keen on rebooking it. You'd rather go train with uh, his team in New Zealand because you like Izzy and stuff. Um, what was, you know, when it got offered, was any part of you like, damn, I don't really want to do this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, but at the end of the day, it's just a business, you know, I got to go do my job. But yeah, man, I, like I said, I've, I've followed the city kickboxing, city kickboxing team for a while. Um, I watched Izzy before he even got into the UFC. You know, so, you know, it's all love. Like, I don't have any animosity or hate towards them. It's just, it's just how business handles. Given that familiarity, I mean, do you see, like, stuff in Dan's game that that gym maybe implements in, like, all its fighters that you've been able to pick up from the previous fights? No, I feel like they all have individual styles, you know. Um, I don't feel like it's, like, a gym that has one set style. I feel like Eugene does a good job of, like, um, amplifying each individual fighter's styles and, and yeah, I mean, they all have grit. They all, they're all tough. You know, they all come to fight. Uh, there's a video clip going around on the internet of some prank gone wrong with you on the strip. What exactly happened there? I wouldn't say it went wrong. I would have said it, it went exactly how it was supposed to go. What, act, what exactly happened there? Uh, he said something, and I, and I grabbed him. <laughs> and lucky it was fight week, or I probably would have threw some hands, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, I saw on your Instagram it looked like you did some training with Hamzat. How was that? Man, that was crazy. Hamzat's good. Hamzat is legit. I, uh, yeah, I learned a lot from that dude in the couple sessions we had. So he's a cool dude. He's a strong fighter, great grappling, good striking too. Like I'm like, man, he's he's dope. Hamzat's dope. So yeah. Did you go out there specifically to train with him, or did you just kind of cross paths? We just crossed paths. I didn't even think it was going to be there. Um, we already had booked the trip to go out there before the fight even got booked. And um, yeah, ended up seeing him, training with him a couple of times. Uh, that was it. We've always heard like these legends of him in camp, like just the intensity and the cardio that he brings. But what was it like to see that firsthand or just be on the other end of it when you're training? It was intense. <laughs> I wish I was uh, up a weight class so I could have endured a lot more, but that man did not stop. I was like, bro, like, he was shooting takedowns and strikes, and I'm like, bro, like, I, I had no time to think. I was like, dog, it was, it was wild. But it was fun, though, you know what I mean? Like, I haven't, I haven't been pushed or tested like that in the gym in years. Like, I didn't even think anybody could do that to me, you know, like, at that point, so... At the point I'm at, but um, yeah, he did. He's strong. He has great grappling. He does not stop. He has cardio. I was like, it was fun. You know, I want to train with him a lot more. And uh, final one for me. Saturday is going to be Robbie Lawler's last fight, uh, and he's going to retire. I'm curious if you have any favorite memories or favorite fights of Robbie throughout his career. One of my favorite memories of Robbie is uh, my coaches 
we're trying to get to, uh, I think, uh, was it the pre-fight weigh-in show or one of the weigh-in shows, well, some show, and he ended up giving them tickets. And I was like, oh, that's, that's really sweet of him. So that's one of my favorite memories, Robbie. And then I can't forget when he fought Carlos Condit because I trained with Carlos for that fight. And I thought Carlos won, but then looking back, I'm like, yeah, it, was just, it was still a close fight, you know. So that was it. That that fight specifically, it seems like a lot of fighters always look at the Rory fight as the, their favorite fight, and not a lot of people bring up that Condit fight. Do you think it's just because, the the like you said, you thought Condit won, that the result was a little controversial, there wasn't blood, there wasn't the gash, the image of that Rory fight that kind of overshadows that Condit fight? Um, it The reason why I feel like it, it's overlooked, like you're saying, is, uh, you know, it's, it was volume versus damage. You know, volume versus big strikes, you know, so it goes hand in hand depending on how you look. But I trained with Carlos, you know, for that camp, so I was like, that's my boy. I wanted him to win. <laughs> hey, Jalen, um, you're 4 0 against fires from Australia and New Zealand. This is going to be, uh, you're looking to go 5 0. You beat Dan Hooker, like, you're going to fight Robert Whitaker next? Like, like you're, you're, you're running out of options. Um, yeah, I am. After that, it's, it's done. We squash, we put, put it down the hatchet. That's it. It's over. I mean, what, what's up? You just don't like Australia and New Zealand? or Dude, it's so funny because it's not even like that, yo. Like, I grew up watching Steve Irwin. He was my favorite. Like, I've always wanted to go to Australia. Australia was the first international place I've been to. You know what I mean? Like, it just happened that way. Like, and it just keeps happening that way. It's just a business. It's a part of the journey. I don't... You know, I don't, I don't have any vendetta against nobody, like, you know. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. Hey, Jalen, over back. here. Um, it, obviously, Dan's, you know, pretty big name as well. Like, do you feel like if you go out there and get a finish, this is really going to kind of propel you up the rankings just because of sort of na Dan's name value and who he's fought in the past? Ultimately, yes. That's exactly how I'm looking at this fight, you know. Um, he's ranked under me, so I don't feel like it's going to do much in terms of rankings. But, you know, if I go in there, do my job, get the finish, make it look spectacular, um, you know, people are going to be talking about me.